Being in the student body government requires determination and grit that I don't think a lot of people have the personal strength to deal with. It comes with responsibilities that I'm ready to take on. You see it glamorized in all the movies, but truly, it's not all fun and games. You really have to be a certain kind of person. I ran a grueling campaign, many long nights of staying up, working on the election, and figuring out who I truly wanted to be as a candidate. I mean, I wasn't running against anyone, but... Oh, Lewis? He gets his coffees. Do you know why? Oh, I have no idea. He just kind of does. The industry has changed over the years. It's no longer for the simple man. It's a war zone. They make the extreme seem normal. They lie to your face and profiteer off your anguish. And they do this. With these. Not the water bottle, no. The water bottle is the single greatest accomplishment of man. But through this. You see that? It moves this way. You always hear lefty loosey, righty tighty. But to who? To the world? To others? Or to the self? When you move this, your wrist, your arm, moves to the right. It is only your fingers that move to the left. It needs to move to the other side. The low jump. Hello, I'm here to talk about how my family has been affected by the backwards bottle cap revolution. I remember the day it happened. We were all happy, content, ecstatic about how the bottles were moving. And then this monster, this terrible human, comes and rots the minds of the people, makes them think that this makes more sense. Just last night, my brother was walking across the street, trying to open a bottle and gets hit by 15 cars, in a row, again and again and again. And personally, I just don't think it's acceptable. Hello, my name is Jonathan, and I will be speaking about Tinder for medieval people. You know, in the medieval world, it is really hard to find matches. Women just want independence uh, and rights. You know, the paintings are great because you can really check which women cover their ankles. And I just think women without their ankles covered are gross and disgusting and not the type that I want. You know, I don't want a Mimdrid Magram, you know? Um, and yeah. How old are you? I'm 23. And, you know, that is quite old and quite close to death. And death is something that I come to terms with pretty much every day. And I think I know what it is, but the more I start to think about it, the less sure I am. And my morals reflect off something I can't confirm. And so I feel that if I try to force them more, then that can make them feel more real, but that truly doesn't change the truth or untruth to them. And, you know, is God dead? Is the philosopher who doesn't exist yet right? Is there any right or wrong? And can there be a definite answer? Or is it just trying to trick your brain into a false sense of security? Is anything inherent, or is it all created by the self? Or can anything be created by the self? In determinism, is there any purpose? Can there be wants or needs, or is everything just happen? Can you truly try, or can you not? The world has all these rules, and what is, why, why should any of us try to follow them if they're they're all just created through the existed happen. And, you know, class is just a construct of power and money only serves to be an excuse for those at the top to uh, have a way of feeling superior to those at the bottom. 
and keep their superiority from those at the bottom. And, you know, it... The feelings of death are inevitable, but truly, once you die, do you have any problem with your own death? Can you change your condition if that is truly the condition that made you who you are? I hate women.